Missing News is where each month we choose an aspect of school life to focus on. This month we're focusing on first years, the musical, subject focus on sport. <laughs> This month we're focusing on first years, how they're cycling in, and how they're dealing with their new su uh, subjects in secondary school. Hello and welcome to RC News. This is Kim Murphy presenting on first years and how they're adjusting to secondary school life. Back to you, Charlie. So, um, how are you finding the homework in the school? Well, it's pretty easy. Yeah. In the school and like the size of the school? I um, find it very busy and um, I find uh, it like kind of at lunchtime it's hard to like walk around and it's like when I'm kind of going to swing things and then the classes are just a lot different. We have to move from class to class. Yeah. Uh, do you enjoy your subjects and what's your favourite one? Uh, yeah, my subjects, I love them except for homework because kind of boring at the start, mm -hmm. but my favourite subjects are probably history and English, so... Uh, what do you think of your lockers? Um, well, it's kind of hard because it's crowded, and like, it's pretty hard to get there, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just crowded. That's all from me, back to you. <laughs> this is our RC News broadcast on the musical. We have two interviews from our main cast and rehearsal footage to come. Hi, I'm Hannah Roddy and I'm playing Penny in Russell College's high school. What did you go for at first? Um, so I went for Penny and Amber first. Why did you go for Penny? Because she's really like me, she's really nerdy. And... What's your favourite song to sing in the musical? Um, probably Without Love. How were you feeling when you found out you got the part you wanted? I was happy about it. <laughs> your favourite song to dance to? You can't stop the beat. What are rehearsals like? Um, at the moment they're <laughs> kind of interesting because we've only started but um, they're really fun. Do you feel pressure coming this close to the musical? No, not really. <laughs> like, we all the cast are really good and we all kind of know our lines and stuff so we should be fun. What's your name? I'm Neve Madden. And what parts do you play in the musical? I'm playing Tracy Turnblad in the musical house three. How do you feel being the lead for the second time in a school musical at the college? I was so happy when I got the role of Tracy because I didn't expect it and I didn't expect the last time when I got the role of Lorraine and All Shook Up and All Shook Up was so much fun to do so I'm really looking forward to doing Hairspray. How did you feel when you got the part of Tracy? I was so happy when I got the part of Tracy because I really loved really it. Uh, what's your favourite song to sing? My favourite song in the musical is Good Morning Baltimore. And what's your favourite song to dance to? My favourite song to dance in the musical is You Can't Stop the Beat. Thanks for watching our news on the production of Hairspray. Tickets are 12 euro for adults and 10 euro for students. Um, this month for focusing on subjects, we focused on woodwork and home economics, where we interviewed each student to see how they were getting on. What do you like about woodwork? Uh, I kind of like the practical side of it. I think that's like the better side of the material. What is your favourite topic? Um, I like working with plastics and in every element different shapes. Do you prefer practicals or theory classes? I definitely prefer practicals. Why did you pick woodwork? Uh, I picked woodwork because when I was on the open night it was either woodwork or TG and I thought TG looks like a little less practical than woodwork. So I chose woodwork. Thank you. So what I like about homework is there are a lot of different topics and if you don't like a topic in one week there will be another the next. And there's also like a lot of links to science which is beneficial for your science like topic too. So like it is a digestive system and that's in biology so if you do homework you're homework in science. What is your favourite topic in homework? Right now my favourite topic is consumer studies because it's very that you you learn how to like manage money and like what to think about buying things and it's just very it's very helpful for the future. What is the reason someone should pick um, for the benefits of life skills and other subjects? So for example, like you learn how to cook great dishes like healthy and nutritious and also like, there is a lot of benefits for other industries as well, like I said, science, like biology. Okay. What is your favourite thing to bake or cook in class? My favourite um, I'd 
that I made of you just before the summer this year collapsed in front of you, but it tasted delicious. Thank you. This month's sports bulletin. Uh, sports day was cancelled unfortunately, but we got interviews with managers before pre-season and we had a report from the other 17 hurling game. Hello, I am Adam McCabe. I'm here with the RC News and this episode is about the pre-season interviews with the coaches of them teams. We will speak to Miss Connachty, Mr O'Neill and Mr McKenna. Hi, I'm Matthew Webb and I'm with Miss Connachty, the girls Gaelic football coach and I'm here to ask her a few questions. Uh, how did the last session go for you? So last season we weren't um, all together for too long. Uh, we didn't do, go too far into the season. But I have to say we have a great group of girls and this year we're hoping to go really far. What are your um, expectations for you? We're going to win something this year. That's our biggest expectation. Uh, will you win the league? Uh, well I have to say ladies focus on the up the whole time. Um, it's very tough to win any league or any match. Um, it's probably it's fast in men's football. <laughs> it is. And uh, I have to say to win the league will be a big expectation, but we can do it. Hi, my name is Lewis Nall. I'm here with Mr. O'Neill, the under 14 current coach. I'm just here to ask a few questions. So uh, what are your expectations for this year? Um just for mainly for the lads and enjoying themselves anyway, but um, obviously I want to there's a competitive element to it as well. Um, we're, we're looking to go out, we're not looking to go out and get the game, obviously we're looking to go out and win games, alright? But the main thing is to, for the players to develop themselves and um, uh, just, yeah, mainly to enjoy themselves anyway. I'm here with Mr. McKenna, the coach for the girls of the 15 team here at the school. I'm just going to ask him a few pre-season pre questions. Uh, first question is, uh, how did the last season go? Uh, not as well as I had hoped. Uh, last year, a lot of first year girls, it's the now current squad, and we'll be doing the 15 today, we'll be in first year last year, and a lot of them never played soccer before, so that was the main thing last year. So, hopefully, now they've learned a lot of skills and the positions, so we'll kick on this year. Have you any expectations for this year? So, um, I expect, and I hope, I may hope for a decent cup run this year. Um, we didn't get as far in the cup, we only got one day out of the cup, we had a few league games. Um, we do a 15 squad last year, the same, so this year we'll for it. Good All right, uh, that's Mr. McCat. Uh, thank you, RC News. Again, we don't get any time to leave where uh, we come college, we're taking on uh, Bourne Community College. I'm here with uh, Luke Neal and Queen Kelly, uh, the captain of this uh, hurling team. I'm going to ask him a few questions. Uh, Keen, how do you think you got on today? It's a good game, boys. Yeah. I don't think uh, the score reflected the match. We were absolutely destroyed. <laughs> good game, though. Good game of hurling. Luke, how do you think uh, the team got on? Uh, I think it got on grand. If they had started me and stuck me a foot forward, it would have been a much easier game for the boys in the field to have, some, have a target man like me to knock yeah. it up to. Uh, I'm here with Mr. McCarthy, the hurling coach of the, this team that we're playing today. Just going to ask him a few questions after this. How do you think the boys got on today? Um, well, we knew after winning the, the North Leinster last year and getting to the Leinster final that we were getting moved up a grade, so we expected a greater challenge. I think we were a little bit overwhelmed by how great the challenge was today. Um, point of a very good team and expecting to go far. Uh, who do you think the uh, star performer today was? Oh, for me, uh, without doubt, it was uh, Keane Kelly. Thank you for tuning into this month's RC News.